I didn't know you're you're gonna be here. But thanks for coming. Let me just open this back up because today's video is about this. This situation. As in my closet. Hey guys, my name's Jess. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. I am here every Monday for you. Today we are doing a little bit of spring cleaning and we're doing that because it is well, one, it is spring. It did snow the past two days, um, but today is now sunny and warm because Canada's weather just doesn't make sense. And two, I feel like, like I said in my clean with me video, cleaning and organizing and decluttering helps my mental health. So if you are languishing along with me and you would feel satisfied by seeing my closet organized and decluttered, I'm gonna maybe, maybe get rid of some clothes. I'm not gonna do my drawers today. We're just gonna focus on this situation. I'm going to just like take everything out I'm gonna reorganize it. Some people do their closets by color. How aesthetically pleasing is that? But I don't know if that's realistic for me, to be honest. Um, yeah. So a lot of the clothes in this closet are my kind of like winter and fall warmer clothing. It's kind of a mix. There is some other things in here that, you know, I haven't worn in a very long time just due to the world the past over a year now. If you would like to declutter and organize my closet with me, keep watching. And if you are watching this video and you have not subscribed, you're you're already watching. Why not? Just hit the hit the subscribe button down below. We can be friends. You can join me every Monday, and I would seriously appreciate it. So let's get into it. Come on. <laughs> seen the state of my closet I've angled you a little differently we're gonna get into it I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take stuff out we're going Marie Kondo let's go okay now that all my clothes are out I feel like a better way of doing this for me. I feel like I want to just clear out and clean and organize everything in here before putting my clothes back on the rack and organizing those. I think that makes more sense logically because I can just like see everything, clothes aren't in the way. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna bring you closer. Let's do that first. Okay, so here's the sitch. I have a bunch of shoes down here. A lot of them I haven't worn in a very long time. I have a basket, like a laundry basket of duffel bags, backpacks, purses, like just so much. I have bins all on these racks that I've tried to be organized with like jeans, track pants. I have some winter things in here. I don't even know what's in here. Like jewelry, honestly random things. Extra like little perfumes. I have like these little mini Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers in here because like, is it just me or do you also collect so many of these and you don't even know where they come from? I have a cocktail shaker in here. <laughs> these, these things just made their way in here. Don't ask me. I've had some of these things for so long. So that's what we're dealing with. I have a little basket of like travel things. I got an array of books behind me on this old ass mini bookshelf multiple games of uno why are these here i don't know i feel like it's good to tackle these things and get rid of some things i'm thinking maybe i'm gonna like sell some stuff before i organize my shoes i'm gonna move this big bin of bags oh my god oh okay
I vacuumed, I actually just went through all my shoes, my bags, I actually went through pretty much everything on these shelves. I didn't film that part just because I didn't want to bore you going through every single item, but I have kind of have all these piles all around my room right now of what I'm going to like sell or give away, throw out, and what I'm going to keep. I'm going to put all the shoes that I'm going to keep back down here in my closet and just kind of like line them up nicely and I'm gonna put that bin of uh, bags back in here and we're just gonna go from there I'm gonna put some of my shoes up here as well and I'm feeling pretty good I have gotten rid of a few things some track pants and just like old things that like I didn't need in here I didn't really do much with the bookshelf I'm not really getting rid of much on here. I think I got rid of like one book. Yeah, as of right now, that's where we're at. And then I am going to get to the clothes. Match. What I like, what I do have is new man. I go with it. I know, I know I got one thing. And then she, ooh, and it's all new. Set me free and I fly. Finally, I'm lit. So this is where we're at now. It looks so much better. I can push that basket of bags under there. I've kind of like organized my heels and my shoes on here. And you know, this doesn't look perfect, but I did go through like my pants, my winter things up here and just kind of like still kept a lot of things, but I think it's not too bad. It's still somewhat organized. And same with the bookshelf. I'm kind of going to keep it like that as of right now. I'm not going to worry too much about the things in this little random drawer here. I just have like bras and my sports bras. And now I'm going to attack this random shit up here. Okay, so these pillows are like super old. They're from my sister and I's like old bedding when we were younger. I think I just kept them in case I wanted them. I don't know. I also have just some of my spare bed sheets. Like I have like a fuzzy like winter pair and I have like three sets of sheets for my bed. So I'm gonna like properly fold these or I'll put them in like the linen closet in the hallway. It's mine no. It's mine no. Okay, it's looking a lot better up here. I got rid of some stuff and yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Like at least a little more organized. So let's get to the clothes. Okay, so the sort of theme that I had before in this closet was I had like jackets, sweaters, and like cardigans on this side, and then it kind of went into like long sleeves, then t-shirts, tank tops, like bralettes, and I had some pants randomly over here. Again, this is mostly like more winter things but a lot of like t-shirts that have to be hung up and like tank tops and things on this side so i'm gonna kind of i think just keep with that theme and as we go along i'm just gonna see if i want to get rid of anything right now i got these two sweaters i think i'm gonna keep them both so these can start off on this side all right so it looks like i just put everything back but i i did organize all of the stuff that i'm keeping and then this whole last section here is stuff that i'm giving away so i was gonna go through it with you and kind of like re-decide this stuff i'm keeping this stuff i'm gonna get rid of which is quite a bit and i haven't even gone through my drawers which has a lot of stuff i'm sure that i could get rid of like other t-shirts and stuff like that um, but that could be for another video. So I'm gonna just kind of show you this stuff briefly. Also, I'm thinking, um, I know Depop is really popular. I've actually had a Depop for like so long, but I haven't even like really used it. I've looked on it very periodically, but I do have an account. So I might throw some of this stuff up on my Depop. If you are interested in buying any of it or of any of these items that I'm getting rid of, then I'll link it in the description. So saying that this is a cute little bralette. I have so many bralettes like this, just like little lacy ones. I just don't wear it. I really love this bodysuit. I have worn it before. It's just a little too small on me. like. The whole like torso situation just like pulls the boobs down on me and it's just like fits kind of weird but it's gotta go. I feel really bad for this one because my sister got me this I think like was it for like my birthday last year but I, I do love this tank top it's so cute it's like a little lacy tank top but it's a little tight in the boob area so I know I just won't get a lot of wear of it just because it's like just restricting. So I have to say goodbye to it. Again, I'm sorry, sister. I love you. I've had this forever, but it's just like a little high neck tank top that's cropped, plain black, very simple. I just don't wear it. This is that like kind of, I think this was a trend a while ago. It still has a knot in it that I uh, tied once. It's like a sheer 
kind of top I just again I don't wear it a lot and then I have just like a few kind of casual t-shirts like this like navy color that I just don't really wear just like a boyfriend style t-shirt this is just like a longer style burgundy top Again, that t-shirt in gray. This is a really cute cardigan that I've had for years. It has pockets. It's really comfy. It has this like lace detail in the back, but I've had it for so long and I think it's just time to part with it. This jacket is super cute. It's like a army style jacket. I actually have one that's like it that I decided to keep instead. I've had this for so long. Oh my God, this is from Garage. If you know the brand or the store Garage, it's a super cute little like faux brown leather jacket again like super cute in the fall um it's just a little snug on me and i just tend to not really wear it It actually has like a detachable hood this is just like an army sweater that i had cut for a performance years ago i'm not gonna probably wear it same with this red sweater um it's actually a really cute cropped sweater kind of has like a 90s vibe i wore it for a couple performances when i danced in toronto and it's just like kind of time for it to go i think it's there's nothing wrong with it it's a super cute cropped sweater this style of shirt was like so popular i feel like this was a trend years ago but i have like three shirts like this that i'm getting rid of because i don't know what it is it's not that i hate this style or anything i just like don't wear it anymore it has like the little neck like choker thing and then like an open chest that's like a V. Super cute. Like there's nothing wrong with it. This is just a plain black long sleeve. I think this trend is gone for me. I just, I think I'm over it. I had this shirt, a similar one in this like really cute, actually blue kind of gray color. And then I have another one here that's like more of a loose choker neck and it's like that open and it's actually like a sheer black top. I actually wore this shirt in my like summer spring clothing that I made a video last year. I bought this shirt and it still has the tags on it. Like this is literally from I think a good two years ago and I actually styled it in that video. I think what it is for me is I'm actually on the hunt for some more cute sheer button ups like this but I think I just want neutral ones. I think it's the stripes for me I don't think I'm a stripe type of person and then these last three are just kind of super boring this is just like a plain black long sleeve type like pullover and then I have this like super chunky kind of like sweater cardigan it has pockets it's actually really cute but I have the same one in like a nude color and then I have this really really old long like t-shirt <laughs> you can't even see what it says on it i think it said je suis bohème um it's just really old i don't even know if i could sell this we have to say goodbye so that is all the stuff that i'm getting rid of i feel pretty good about it and i feel like i would like to just get rid of all these like i don't even think i need to try them on I think I'm just gonna part with them. And I've now just put back some of the pants and some dressier things at the end of my closet here that I am going to keep. The last thing I actually just decided to get rid of was this like high-waisted, I think these were American Apparel uh, shiny leggings. So these will also be up on my Depop. Whenever I put all that stuff up, you can go check it out if you're interested in any of this stuff. So that is it guys. I have organized my closet. I've organized my clothes. We got everything in like different little sections here. I have another little closet in my other room and I have a lot of other summer clothes. So like this video if you want to see a part two because I have a lot more clothes and a lot more that I've bought recently with spring and summer coming up. If you'd like to see me organize that stuff, maybe get rid of some more spring and summer stuff as well as all the clothes that I have in my drawers, which is quite a bit, then make sure you like this video if you want to see a part two. So thanks for joining me in my closet. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's feeling a lot more organized and like cleaned. I even vacuumed in here and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the stuff that I got rid of. It just feels so good to like get rid of stuff and organize and declutter. And I hope this inspires you to do a little bit of spring cleaning as well. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and if you want to see part two and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye!